Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So we got one here from Michael at Val 5 Links. The governor of the Philippine Central Bank said in an interview that they are negotiating with various banks and financial institutions to conduct a pilot test of a central bank digital currency. So now guys, the Philippines is testing a CBDC. Their BSP chief stated about the launch that a pilot is not a full-blown implementation of a CBDC as just a step taken before it starts to run. The project CBDC-PH is aiming to bring knowledge on key aspects of CBDC's natures and its implications on the country's financial system. The BSP governor in an interview invited financial entities to participate in the pilot testing of the CBDC-PH project. In response to Benjamin Dianco's, several banks have been already onboarded. Interesting to note, and I wonder if they are going to go with Ripple. We know Ripple has uh, worked with other countries with regards to their CBDC projects, building their CBDC central bank digital currencies on the XRPL. Palau, of course, is the one that comes to mind. And why I say this too is because the Philippines was one of those quintessential corridors. I think one of the very, very important rails for remittances uh, that Ripple was focusing on years back, one of the very first ones. Uh, we know that coins.ph, that was one of the very first exchanges that Ripple uh, decided to partner with to provide XRP liquidity to that part of the world. So XRP implementation, uh, it's nothing new in the Philippines, which begs the question, you know, would the Philippines decide to create their CBDC on the XRPL? There's nothing here to suggest that. However, you know, uh, with all the other partnerships and all the other RippleNet implementation in the Philippines, uh, I would not be surprised if they did decide to. So, I mean, right now it just sounds like they're starting off with this. We don't have too much information. The Philippines Banco Central, uh, which is their central bank is also convincing many banks and financial institutions for the CBDC PH project pilot testing of the central bank digital currency plan to execute in the fourth quarter of 2022. So still uh, a few months away. The Asian Plus 3 Macroeconomic Research Office reported that uh, 40 other countries are undertaking the CBDC's research and three central banks have launched CBDCs for commercial use. 14 countries out of them have launched a pilot testing scheme for CBDCs and 16 countries are in the proof of concept stage for central bank digital currency development, reporting 40 countries in the research stage. So that is for the Asia Pacific region of the world where the Philippines is located. Still a question though, if they are going to be running on RippleNet, nevertheless, some interesting news there. I wanted to thank Michael for posting that. Another one here, guys, from Michael. This has to do with Cardano, set to onboard game-changing algorithmic stablecoins rivaling Terra's UST. So stablecoins, you know, we don't talk too much about stablecoins, but, uh, you know, they are going to play an integral role in this new financial system as well. And uh, I don't know if you guys caught my video this morning. I'll link it up here in the top right-hand corner. In it, I talked about this tweet from Kim.com, and he was kind of speculating on why the market is, um, why the market was collapsing, considering we weren't really hearing much negative news with regards to cryptocurrencies. I mean, I personally was attributing it to other factors, um, but he was saying, you know, it could be that the hires up in US government are already selling off their cryptocurrency positions because they know what kind of regulation is coming down the pipe and uh, that regulation would be coming down the pipe fairly quickly. One of them was regulating stable coins. There's only going to be a handful of stable coins that are likely going to get regulatory clarity in the US. And so, you know, all the other kind of weird, shady, questionable stable coins might not get that regulatory clarity. So I think it's important uh, to pay attention to some of these developments here, like Cardano, for example, one of the World Economic Forum chosen cryptocurrencies from their report back last summer. You can see here, Cardano, along with a handful of other cryptocurrencies, uh, are some in this report as outlined by the World Economic Forum. So here, guys, we have the concept of algorithmic stablecoins. That's recently created quite a buzz in the crypto space, with Terra's UST at the center of many chatters. It appears that the model has gained adherence among crypto architects. Cardano and IOST have revealed that they will be taking a cue from Terra by launching algorithmic stablecoins backed by cryptocurrencies. The two blockchains join the likes of Terra and Tron in choosing not to back their cryptocurrency with fiat reserves. So this is something a little different, backing stable coins with cryptos as opposed to fiat. Could this be a hint too as to where the world is going? If fiat is collapsing, how can we in good faith or how can these architects in good faith decide to create a stable coin that is going to be tied to fiat? I mean, I mean, I guess the, uh, the developers are getting paid to, to just develop what they're getting paid to do. But you know, 
if this is the way it's going, if this is what we're now seeing, this could be an indication of what fiat money is going to be worth and how inflation is really going to destroy uh, the US dollar and other fiat currencies around the world. Algorithmic stablecoins are cryptocurrencies whose value is pegged to a real world commodity or fiat currency, but backed and stabilized by other cryptocurrencies. This new generation of stablecoins differs from collateralized stablecoins like Tether and USD coin backed by fiat reserves. Uh, the argument for this new model is that it creates a better decentralized system that eliminates the risk that comes with a stablecoin having a centralized issuer and operator. So that's an interesting concept here. And so Cardano's algorithmic stablecoin is backed by ADA and backed by Shen, which will serve as the assets reserve currency. Cardano's DJED uh, was first announced in September last year and is expected to be used to pay fees on the Cardano network. And then just down here, guys, uh, since embarking on its plan to back its Terra USD coin with $10 billion in Bitcoin, Terra has seen its stablecoin grow in value, uh, clinching the third spot amongst the most valuable stablecoins by market cap. Additionally, Terra USD is now the 10th most valuable cryptocurrency by market cap, just behind its native token Luna with a market cap of $18.78 billion. So just giving you uh, some statistics on uh, the Terra coin specifically. I thought this was interesting, guys. Stablecoins being backed by cryptocurrencies. This one specifically has to do with Cardano's ADA. And again, Cardano, one of the World Economic Forum chosen coins as outlined in their June 2021 report. The coins that are going to solve problems are the coins to be thinking about when investing in cryptocurrencies, you know, considering, uh, you know, now the market is seeing a bit of a dip. Are you guys buying the dip, by the way? I've got the total two market cap up here on the weekly. Uh, and you know what? I'll just leave it on the weekly because you can see here uh, a significant downturn in the market, significant bearish movement. We still haven't knocked out these lows, though. I mean, the lows that we saw back in June 2021 would still bring the altcoin market to about 586 billion. Uh, and right now we're sitting at about 800 and 61 billion up here so we still have technically not seen uh lows being taken out i mean even if you take a look at this we still haven't seen these lows being taken out these lows were printed back in january so are we going to bounce off this are we going to see a retracement to the upside who knows it's interesting, you know, I didn't think that the market would move this way. Um, I personally thought all my bags were packed and ready to go. But, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on this, see if I have an opportunity to accumulate uh, perhaps more WEF coins. The ones that solve problems, uh, Cardano, Algorand, uh, and XLM, uh, probably going to be the ones uh, that I decide to dabble in. I know I've heard a lot of problems about the Solana blockchain. I don't know too much about Celo or Solana, to be honest with you. But anyway, something to be paying attention to. Uh, so great news here. wanted to thank Michael for pointing that out. Uh, and this guy's from Leonidas. In this research paper by academics from Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, Ripple's technology is an example of Saudi banks successfully using blockchain technology. So the Saudi bank actually outlined Ripple here in this most recent report. Ripple blockchain technology was utilized by Al Rahaji Bank, which we knew uh, was a Ripple partner, uh, the world's largest Islamic bank to conduct safe cross-border transfers. This is the first time the technology has been successfully deployed in Saudi Arabia. A remittance between Riyadh and the Jordanian headquarters of Al Raji Bank was the most recent transaction. This achievement emphasizes Al Raji's banking network's technology integration and confirms the bank's change customer experience and continuous efforts to digitize the client's banking experience. In Saudi Arabia, the blockchain project is part of the digital transformation of the Al Raji Bank. Uh, the solution will provide a first class customer experience by shortening delivery time, lowering cost, and improving accuracy. So, of course, all things uh, that we know Ripple and XRP are very good at solving. So they did mention the Ripple blockchain technology in this report here. Jason down here uh, also noting that, uh, yeah, these guys have met before. Chairman of the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority uh, sitting two chairs over from Brad Garlinghouse of Ripple. This was uh, the BIS seminar, that conference, that landmark conference that really got us uh, really excited about XRP being uh, utilized in a more meaningful capacity globally. I think it was actually Bearable Guy who brought our attention to this uh, conference when it was happening back in 2019. Team. Um, I'm again, I'm sorry if I'm getting the facts wrong, but I do believe it is that if somebody, uh, if I'm, if I'm incorrect on that point, please do put it down in the comment section though. I don't like to tell you guys something if it is not true. So now we're seeing countries like Saudi Arabia though, uh, even highlighting Ripple, their blockchain technology, saying it's improving accuracy, lowering costs and delivery time, essentially providing their customers with a world-class solution for cross-border remittance. So I wanted to thank Leonidas for posting that. And this one guys from Yoshi. 
Taka Katow. That's right, the former CEO of SBI Holdings. Uh, there's a brand new update here, and I'll bring up uh, just an English article. This is uh, kind of the latest XRP-related news. SBI Group's cross-border e-commerce platform is now enabling XRP payments. The platform is now taking payments in Bitcoin and XRP. It provides information on used automobiles and facilitates their exports. So just to give you guys uh, some more info on this, Japan's SBI Group has made another move to bring XRP to the mainstream as SBI Africa's cross-border e-commerce platform, SBI Motor Japan, has started to accept payments in cryptocurrencies. And as I mentioned before, Bitcoin and XRP are the two cryptocurrencies that are going to be accepted on the e-commerce platform. Uh, additionally, it is the first such platform in the country to accept XRP as a payment. SBI is a major Japanese conglomerate, as we know. Uh, the mentioned cross-border e-commerce platform provides information on used automobiles to emerging countries around the world and facilitates the export of around 5,000 vehicles annually. Um, and, you know, used vehicles, a very big market in Africa. The primary market targets of the platform are Tanzania, Kenya, Zambia, and other African countries, uh, Ireland, Grand Cayman, and the Bahamas in the Caribbean. So island nations as well uh, are a big market for used vehicles. I mean, it is difficult to produce new vehicles. I guess it takes a lot of resources and the resources it would take to import, I suppose, uh, if you did build a, uh, a car plant on a island, which I think would be a, a, not a good use of space, uh, I would think. So there is a big used car market. Market. and uh, Japan obviously catering to some of these countries. Crypto asset remittances use blockchain distributed ledger technology. So even if the banking system stops functioning, as long as the internet is operational, remittances can continue to be used without being affected by the failure of an exchange, etc. This is also highly regarded as it is spreading as an alternative to traditional remittance methods. In anticipation of the growing demand for remittances using crypto assets, we plan to increase the number of currencies that can be used for settlement in the future. So it is interesting that they are utilizing XRP and Bitcoin. Uh, and Bitcoin, of course, the, the biggest cryptocurrency in the crypto space, the one that's got the most notoriety, the one that most people hold, uh, the one that I suppose most people would likely conduct payments with, but they're also saying XRP, that is the number two cryptocurrency that they are choosing. Interesting choices. Moreover, the platform confirmed that it will use the services of SBI VC Trade to settle the crypto assets. Uh, in addition, it will ensure anti-money laundering and anti-terrorist financing measures. Of course, all the appropriate screening and monitoring. Uh, promoting XRP, though, SBI is one of the key partners of Ripple. The two companies are running a joint venture to promote the use of XRP in Asia. So uh, we can see why XRP would be added. SBI is a big part of this. And now we're looking at the used car market. If they do expand to Africa and other island nations, would this then suggest that these countries would also decide to utilize cryptocurrency as a payment. In this case, namely Bitcoin and XRP. So some interesting things to ponder here. And finally, guys, just to end it on a somewhat comical note, Harry here on Twitter, Daily Mail doing a piece on the weather this weekend. And one of the photos captures an XRP fan. Who the heck is this guy? So this is just a random Daily Mail article, uh, as he's mentioned here, as Harry's mentioned, just talking about the weather and take a look at this guy. What's he doing? Checking the price? <laughs> Putting in another buy order? Hey kids, go play with your mom while I buy more XRP. If you have any idea, please do put it down in the comment section. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.